What's up? It's Jati Jones. Thank you for being patient with me. I haven't made a video in a long time. Today, I'm going to give you updates on my new book release, my new YouTube channel, and what's going on with me in my personal life. So good news. My 500 page book on how to seduce women through integrity is going to be out in a few days from the time I post this video. So it's being reviewed by Amazon and it will be released in a day or two. Don't worry, I'm going to scream from the rooftops when it's released. So uh, stay tuned for those updates. I'll update you on YouTube, on my email newsletter and on Instagram. Now, side note, I'm I'm uh, posting on my Instagram stories every day. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you're really missing out on getting the experience of having me in your daily life, motivating you, giving you tips, and kind of showing you uh, being kind of like a role model of how you should be living in order to be an attractive man. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's Jati Jones, one word, and I post to my stories daily. Now, let's talk about my YouTube channel. For years, I've been suspicious that something fishy has been going on with my YouTube channel. If you're one of my loyal followers, then you have seen that the views don't reflect the quality of the content. So this channel provides a tremendous amount of quality, uh, but for some reason, the algorithm has not been spreading my videos. And I've been suspicious that, you know, maybe something is off. So one idea I've had uh, for years is to just start a new channel uh, to, to see if, you know, what's going on, if there's really something fishy going on with my channel or not. But I kept holding back saying, no, let me just stick to my channel uh, and so forth. But I've come to the following decision. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue posting on this channel, hopefully once a week. And I'm also going to post on my new channel, which I'll tell you about in a second, once a week as well. And I'm going to kind of pin them against each other to finally verify, is there something fishy going on with my channel or not? So I'm starting a new channel. It's called The Honesty Method with Jati Jones. So search The Honesty Method with Jati Jones or by Jati Jones and that's going to be my new channel. And the videos I post on that channel are going to be different than the videos I post on this channel. So you want to make sure that you're subscribed to both. Also, if you're my subscriber and you want to support me, please go over to the new channel and subscribe to that new channel. I have a feeling that that channel will eventually take off. And I have a feeling there's something fishy going on with my channel and the algorithm for some reason just has flagged my channel or there's something going on. It doesn't, the, the math does not add up. I am giving very good value on this channel and I have been for years, but it, the algorithm is just not picking it up. So new YouTube channel, The Honesty Method with Jati Jones, search for it on YouTube. Maybe I'll uh, link it down below. I'm not sure if I'll even link it, uh, but that's what's going on with the channel. So today, um, what else I was going to, I was going to tell you about, um, my daily life. Actually, what I want to tell you is I want to give you kind of a coaching tip for the pattern I'm seeing with my coaching clients and the common mistake that they're making that I want to now pass on to you. Also another maybe personal thing. I'm feeling a bit rusty because I haven't made a YouTube video for maybe two months or more. So if I seem a little rusty on this video, it's because I am. I haven't really made a YouTube video in, in a minute. So bear with me. Okay. In order to be an attractive man, it comes down to the strength of your character. You're asking yourself, I see these beautiful women in my city all over the place, but they're not noticing me. Or even when I talk to them, I'm not emotionally impacting them. They don't seem impressed when they talk to me. How do I attract the kind of women that I truly want? I know you can attract some women, 
But this channel is about attracting the women you truly want, those drop dead gorgeous ones, those quality women that you would make your girlfriend or wife. Here's the piece a lot of you are missing. I'm not going to say you're missing it, but chances are you're missing some of it. Men who have trouble attracting women are lacking in character. What is character? This brings us back to the concept of integrity. You think that Jad is all about integrity, meaning, oh, tell the truth to women, leave them better than you found them. That's one part. But there's another part, which is living in integrity with myself as a man. What I discovered in my life is that I, I cannot bear myself, I cannot stand myself when I have stepped out of integrity with myself. What does it mean to step out of integrity with yourself? A few years ago, I became overweight. Not, not grossly overweight. If you had seen me, you wouldn't have been like, oh my God, Jad's fat. But I had those love handles. I had developed a little belly. That is not my truth. My truth is to be in shape, to be fit, to be proud to take my shirt off. That is my truth. And so because I was dealing with some things in my life, uh, I, I resorted to overeating. And then I got these love handles. I got a belly. I, I did not look good. I did not look good. And that was not my truth. And so I felt terrible uh, because I was outside of integrity with myself, with my image, with my identity. Here's another example. When I was on a mission to master this game, at one part of the game, I veered off course and I started using uh, fake pickup tactics and techniques and pretending to be an extrovert when I was really an introvert. And I was just started being fake. And that also felt absolutely terrible. So being outside of integrity with yourself is when you stop living your truth, whatever your truth is. Character, having strong character means that you do not allow anything to sway you from your personal integrity. I want to I want you to rewind the tape back to you when you were 14 years old, 15 years old, and you had a vision of the man you wanted to become. I'm sure in that vision, you imagine that you're jacked, you're ripped, you're rich, and you have gorgeous women in your life. What would the 15 year old version think of you today? What would the 15 year old version think of you today? For most of you, the truth is your 15 year old version of doing this is like, oh my God. Oh damn, what did you do to us? Oh shit. You're lacking character. You're out of integrity with yourself. Most of the men who are coming to me are fluffy, out of shape, overweight, love handles, belly, not confident socially. They're um, watching porn, indulging in social media, compulsively scrolling, using their phone compulsively, spending hours gaming. They're vaping, they're smoking, they're smoking weed, they're drinking alcohol. And then they're like, why don't girls like me? You got a weak character. Your character is so weak. You are not only out of integrity with yourself in one area, you're out of integrity within your, uh, in like five or six or ten areas. How can you, it, it's impossible for you to love you when you are out of integrity in all these different areas with yourself. And for women to love you, you must love you. For women to love me, I must love me. In order for me to love me, I have to live in integrity with myself. A big part of having strong character as a man is the things you don't do. You don't watch porn. You don't scroll on social media. You don't look at hot girls on social media. You don't overeat. You don't skip workouts. You don't watch hours of Netflix instead of hitting the gym. It's all the things you don't do that also contributes to your strength of character as a man. 
And the stronger your character as a man, the more rightly you're living, the more attractive you are. There's a saying, you get rewarded in public for what you do in private. You get rewarded in public for what you do in private. So, the man, when you, let's do a forward vision, you're never missing a workout, you're eating healthy, you've got six-pack abs, you look great with your shirt off, you're uh, spending your time on your passion, on your hobbies, on your business, and not wasting time scrolling on social media. You're living in integrity with yourself in all areas. Now, so that's what you're doing in private. Now, when you show up in public, so you're having high character in private, when nobody's watching, when women aren't watching, that's what you're doing in private. Then you show up in public in front of that woman, and now she feels the strength of character from you. She feels, oh, this is a man who has strength of character. This is a man who is living in integrity with his truth to himself. Ah, this is a man who loves himself. When a woman feels that you love yourself, then she loves you. So notice, getting the hottest women is very little about seduction and a lot about your character. What are you doing in your daily life, in your private life, to be of high character, to be the 10.0 version of yourself, so that when, you, when a woman meets you, she feels that she just met an elevated, solid, real motherfucker. So, to answer the question, how can I get attractive women in a big city to love me? and be attracted to me? Part of the answer is, it's all about what you're doing in private. You gotta be of high character, live in integrity with yourself. It's all about not only what you do, but all the bad things that you don't do. When you're being of high character in private, then when women meet you in public, they can tell that you're that rare kind of man that's elevated. And then they'll be like, oh, interesting. And they'll get interested in you. One thing I always say is this game is not for the lazy. A big mistake men make that's keeping them single is they're trying to lazy their way into getting beautiful women. That's not how it works. In my journey, I guarantee you, <laughs> I worked my ass off from the age of 13 until now. I worked my ass off to attract women. I wasn't lazy about it. I was always trying to be the most elevated version of myself. And that journey never ends. Even when you get your dream girl, even when you get your wife, in order to keep her, you have to still be that man of high character. So you have a choice to make. Either work your ass off for the rest of your life to be the 10.0 version of yourself. If you want women in your life, if you don't want women in your life or you just want to buy sex from women, okay, be lazy. But that's a clear choice you need to make. A, to be an attractive man is to be a hardworking man, a disciplined man, a man who lives in integrity with the vision, the version of himself he knows he wants to be. If you're honest with yourself, everybody wants to be a 10.0 version. It is nobody's spiritual truth to be a 1.0 version of themselves. So I put out that challenge to you. And if you want to get daily motivation on how to be this elevated, rare motherfucker, follow my stories on Instagram. I'm on there almost every day showing you what it means to be a man of character. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.